What's up, y'all? It's your boy E back again with another video. Um, I know I've been slacking on the YouTube. I know we haven't been consistent, but listen, man, I've been working behind the scenes. I've been hiring the staff. Uh, and now I finally got a team where I feel like I could go off and do this type of stuff. And I know the content on this ain't gonna be A1. I'm literally shooting it on my iPhone. You know what I'm saying? I know I got other cameras, but I ain't trying to set all that up. Y'all want the game or y'all want the quality? Let me know down below. We want the game. All right, um, so today we're gonna talk about how to make a website for your brand. Um, I'm gonna break it all down from A to Z. I don't wanna, like these types of tutorials, I don't really wanna go too in depth on like the how to and like what to click and what to press. Like there's other YouTubers out there better than me at that. My boy Rich. Hey, Ferrado, you really need to go check out Rich on YouTube because he really does the step-by-step -step tutorials and he teaches you everything that you need to know about printing t-shirts and building website and doing Photoshop and doing Illustrator and vinyl cutting. This guy really got it all. I'm gonna teach y'all the basics. I'm gonna give y'all the philosophies. Um, I'm gonna give y'all the game. I'm gonna give you the blueprint. <laughs> but the little minute details, that's on you to put in the work. You know what I'm saying? Got to make your life better. You got to focus on you. All right, so first up, um, the best way to create a site, right, is to use a, a quote unquote, I don't know what they call it, but a domain server, whatever. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a program that you can use and you can plug and play. So there's other companies out there that do that. I done seen Wix.com, Big Cartel, um, some of the other ones. But the one that I use, the one that I know for a fact is the best because Fashion Nova uses it. Uh, Kylie Jenner Cosmetics uses it. Easy Supply uses it. Damn near every brand uses this domain. It's called Shopify. Um, and the reason why I like to use Shopify is it's not as neat, it's organized, it's easy to ship out the orders. On the fulfillment back end, it's so much easier. Yeah, like on like a Wix or something like that, you'll have more options to custom code. But the back end of those those infrastructure is is terrible. Like trying to ship out orders, trying to keep up with orders, trying to collect payments, is such a is such a brutal process. With Shopify, they have things called themes, right? So imagine like a bunch of super smart guys in a room. They make the they make the code. They code it out for you, and they make it. It's called a template, like a theme, a template. And all you have to do is plug and play, and then you can. You can um, customize it a little bit, but these are UX, UI designers, professional designers that kind of make the most generic theme for every single company. Um, obviously, when you get to the level of Fashion Nova and, and Kanye West, Kylie Jenner, you know, they probably got custom coders on their team that's doing it for them. But when you small business like us, um, it's not a bad idea to use that theme. So the one that we use is called Icon Theme. We use Icon Theme by Underground. So I, I don't know, it's just something that I like to use. And uh, it really depends on what you're selling, how much inventory you got, how many SKUs you got. That's gonna determine what theme um, is best for you. And they have themes on Shopify that are free. The one thing about the free themes that I realized is that it's, they don't have as, as much customization. You don't get the support because on you know with Icon Underground you could call them or you could not call them but you can email them. They'll give you support tips. They'll show you how to do things that you want to do. Um, the ones that are free is very limited to colors, certain text, certain fonts. So I like working with the paid themes because they are a little bit better. Um, and especially for us at Superline Solid Basics, there's so many SKUs, there's so many colors, there's so many sizes. Um, the easier it is for the customer to navigate through that. I feel like the more sales I'm gonna generate. So with Icon, it's a good thing for us because it, it neatly organizes the colors, the skews, the sizes. Um, so yeah, I mean, once you get those themes, the one thing I will suggest you being proficient at is pro being, be proficient at Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, those are Adobe programs. So those are programs that you're gonna use to change the graphics. So like you see on the Solid Basics website, uh, this agency, they're called Overdose Studios. My boy Quay, but Dev, they be, I mean, they be, I'm telling you, they cook that shit up, boy. So some of the graphics I kind of did myself because I just wanted, a, you know, my own little touch to it. But a lot of the, a lot of the creative I outsource sometimes. Um, so they did the, they did the creative on these visuals. Um, in terms of like creatives and visuals, it's really important because 
think about it like a website is a landing page for someone to to interact with your brand it's a digital landing page right so if the creative if the the graphics and the photos aren't good the product not going to look good always be closing you know there's a lot of people sometimes where they sell shitty product the quality sucks but the the graphics the marketing is good so it sells you know what i'm saying so i will say in the online space that is something that's very 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 important um so with me i don't necessarily have all the time in the world so i outsource but when i first started i understand that not everyone got that budget you know what i'm saying because overdose they be working and you gotta cut the check you know what i'm saying so when i first started you know me and andy we literally like this is this is i know this is, i don't even know nothing about cameras i know how to shoot it but i don't know nothing about the hardware um i know this is a nice camera but we literally were shooting on like the bullshit Costco TI-80, what is it, Canon T-I-3 or whatever, like the cheap, cheap, like, you know, I mean, $500, you know, I know it's not cheap, but y'all get the point. Like, we were starting with what we had, and um, that's my best advice to you, man. With the creatives, yeah, it's like, if you have a nicer camera, the visuals are going to come out better. If you have a nicer computer, it's going to be easier to design better graphics, but here's the thing. If you can't cook it up with your iPhone, if you can't cook it up with what you got, even when you get this, you're not gonna be able to cook it up. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the utensils, it's not about the pots, it's not about what you got in the kitchen. It's about are you the chef? Can you, do you have sauce? Do you have drip? It's in you, you know what I'm saying? Sauce so chef curry with the pot, been cooking with the sauce so chef curry with the pot, boy. And to be honest, it wasn't always in me. Nothing about creative, I ain't know nothing about Illustrator, Photoshop, but I learned. And I'm probably, what, like five years deep now, and I finally feel like I'm at a point where uh, my taste level and my ability to create is to a certain level. I mean, there's guys that are out there that like the overdose guys that are way better than me, but y'all get the point, man. Start with what you got. And, you know, it's, again, once you have the Shopify platform, it's very easy to ship out the orders. They have the orders all listed out. You can click the order. Um, you can ship from out of Shopify. So you can ship out a UPS label, a USPS label, stamp it on the package, and then go drop it off at the nearest location. And with Shopify, you get a discounted shipping rate. So like, let's say you were to go to USPS and sh ship, this might cost you $5, but with Shopify, they give you a discount as $3. You know, Shopify is the best. Have good creative, have good visuals. And again, with the operational side, you don't need a Ryan when you're starting out. You don't need an operations manager. You can do it yourself because that's the whole thing about Shopify. They make it easy so that you could do it yourself. That's the beauty of it. If y'all like this video, if y'all want me to be more consistent with the YouTube, I need you to do me a favor. Go down and smash that subscribe button. Watch every video, replay it six times. Go tell your friends about it. If I'm not getting a lot of metrics on this, I ain't really, to be honest, it ain't really worth it, but it's a community, and I know y'all need this game, so go smash that button for me, all right? Go tell your friend about it. I appreciate it. I'll see y'all next time.